put it up there later. I'll come in here. Let me sing my song for the juice. Oh, these carrots are divine. You get a dozen for a dime. It's magic. One time for the juice. I know I'm on here a little late, but I wanted to let everybody else get their shit out the way so I can have a stage to myself. What up, dog? Y'all come in here. As y'all come in, hit the like button. And um, if you ain't subscribed, you can do so now. And hit the very, very top bell so you get all of the, all of the notifications when I go live and shit. I see they got um, notification bells on um, Instagram now. I didn't know that. Shout out to uh, DV Alias Christ. He pulled my coat to it. So, yeah. If you're just now coming in and you ain't subscribed, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I go live. Hope y'all enjoyed my interview this morning with Fat Man Scoop. Shh. Credentials and credibility. That's what we're working with over here. And um, I'm just really, really privileged to have Fat Man Scoop on speed dial. And I knew he worked at Hot 97 for a number of years. I knew that he had a relationship with um, DJ Mr. C. So I wanted to get y'all, get a first hand notification. He said, got my three nits, can't wait to cop more. Oh yeah, I recognize your name, Book Aronism from Instagram. Hope you enjoy, and I uh, hope you knock your bitch with them joints, man. Them shits is hoe catchers, man. That's what I, code name, hoe catcher. The nitage. I've been doing inventory all day. Uh, I'm loaded up, man. I got, I'm strapped. Shit turning into a million dollar company and shit. You know what I mean? Every day I'm getting bigger and bigger. My people are um, scrambling and shit for streams. I do streams just to be streaming. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a footnote to the dribble, man. A little soundtrack. My man said the best running back that ever did it. I don't know, man. I'm from the Barry Sanders era. Barry Sanders is really something. But y'all come on in here. Let's kick it about the juice. I tried to get... um. Sadat X in here, but he didn't, um, I didn't get in touch with him like I wanted to, to discuss him getting on here tonight. I know he, he's of the age that probably looked up to, um, OJ Simpson, imitated OJ Simpson when they was playing football, you know, in the schoolyard and shit. I kind of caught the tail end of the Tony Dorsett era, Tony Dorsett, Eric Dickerson. That's when I started like watching football, Tony Dorsett. Eric Dickerson, Herschel Walker, all of those guys. By the time um, I was old enough to recollect watching football, Juice was already on movies and shit. He was on, I think, the movie Airplane. And he was definitely running through the airport. I remember him running through the airport with the football. I remember that. So, yeah, I didn't get a chance to see him play. He, had, he played for the Buffalo Bills. I didn't get a chance to see him play um Physically, I was a little too young and shit. But I know that he was a very, very big deal to a lot of people. And I know that um, a lot of rotten things were said about him today online. And let's talk about it. I, I just want y'all to know that he don't care. <laughs> he don't care. He didn't witness what you said. He didn't. He's not hearing it and shit. He left here um, living his life. And that's, that's, that's how his chapter ended. But he definitely don't give a fuck what y'all saying and shit. You know what I'm saying? As far as anybody's concerned in regards to the case, he was found not guilty. Rest in peace to him and Johnny Cochran. I remember um, where I was at when he got found not, not guilty. I was in a drug rehab. Um, I was going through what, dirty urines for weed. 18 or some shit like that. Yeah, probably 18. 18 years old or something like that. Just getting on adult probation for the first time and shit. And I remember we was in this common area when he was found not guilty. I know he was found not guilty sometime in October, like early October. 
the same year as the first Million Man March because I was thinking about escaping the rehab to go to the first Million Man March. I missed the first one. But yeah, I think that was 1995 that he beat that shit. So um, anybody who feels any type of way, it's too late. He was, he was um, you know, acquitted of that case. And some people um, wanted him to be punished for the rest of his life. Y'all like the video as y'all come in. It looked like it ain't a lot of people. Y'all just come in and now see him. The numbers are going up. Y'all share this uh, live stream to your social media platforms, Twitter mainly. The Bronco Chase cut off the playoffs on TV. I remember the Bronco Chase too. It was um, it was a circus back then. It was a whole lot of high profile news shit going on back then. They show OJ when I was in school that that was class that day. Where can I get one of your hats? TheRealDribble.com, or you can or you can go to P A Knit Dash. PA-knitknit.com. I just launched a new website today, actually. Shout out to my man, Tone. and shit made that happen for me. We've been working together uh, all day updating a new website. But you can go to realdribble.com for sure and, and, and get right. Boom, boom. The OJ passing hit different for some reason. You know, people people get a chance to show they how ugly and vile they are and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was acquitted of allegedly killing some some white a white woman and her companion, I guess. And people never let that shit go. He he um he passed away from cancer. I think it was prostate cancer or something like that. I know that that's something that affects black men. Make sure you go to get them colonoscopies if you of that age and shit like that. So. If anything's going on, you can detect it early. I believe um, the time that he spent in jail probably affected his health. Because he did end up going to jail. They, they, I think it was about some shit that happened in Vegas. They, they, he did serve some time and shit. And there was the diets and jail institutions. They're not giving your ass fresh fruits and vegetables. They're not. Motherfuckers living off the kitchen in the commissary and bunch of processed food, junk food, and shit like that. And that probably was a bad thing for him. But he's moved on. I remember, um, I wonder, I wonder how to, um, I wonder what's going on with them Kardashians right now. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on with them Kardashians right now. I wonder what's going on in their household, the phone calls that they're having, the group chats that they're conducting. I wonder what's going on. Um, I believe Chloe was reputed to be his daughter. What y'all think about that? Y'all hip to that? That's something that was always mentioned, that that was allegedly his daughter. It wasn't never proven, but it was a lot of speculation, and people even was comparing their features. They was comparing their features. They just found a note OJ left. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, right. I'm kicking you out just for saying that dumb shit. I'm 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 gonna let y'all know something, right? I'm never gonna I'm never gonna grow tired of kicking you motherfuckers out this chat. I, I got low tolerance for um ignorance, low vibration, you know. Hateful shit, like, why come here with it when you know I'm going to kick? You're not getting kicked out the chat for five minutes. You're getting blocked from the channel. Like, the, the last slick slick shit that you said, that's going to be your last comment here, period, and shit. So just know that. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Tony Wall, that's your opinion. You act like you was there when he was fucking a bitch. Holly Weird wouldn't be surprised if they were sharing wives. I seen a documentary that said that he 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 hit he he was fucked he fucked that chick at least once. You know what I'm saying? I did. I seen a very very interesting documentary. I'm probably gonna try to find it, but I watched it many years ago, and it was about um, mainly 
his, his relationship with Rob Kardashian. That was their father. Twitter was on fire today. Yeah, they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait to say a bunch of evil, ignorant shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit was said today. As soon as he passed away, they immediately brought out the case. They was, you know, airing footage on CNN, ESPN. I didn't hear it myself, but I heard Stephen A. Smith said a bunch of ugly shit. OJ don't care, fam. He don't. He, he, he beat the case, and he ended up coming back out here living his life. So he said, them folks acting like this is a celebration, but he lived a full life. Yeah, almost 80 years old and shit. They act like he faced the death penalty or something, or he walked the plank. <laughs> they act like he walked the plank or something like that. He said, they still can't hold that L 30 years later. 1994, I was about to go to sleep, and it was breaking news. My family watched it. It's crazy because for a long time we thought he was driving. I don't know. I know um, this documentary that I seen, it was very interesting. I did do Rob Kardashian. He was a bad boy. He was a bad boy. I'm waiting for you know certain people to interject some shit. I don't want to set it off. <laughs> I don't want to set it off, but I am, um, I'm pro OJ because he one of ours and shit. So to anybody who has something negative to say about him, suck a dick. You know what I mean? For real. I'm glad Cam had him on the show. Yeah, they got that off. Him and Mace got that off. That's one of the highlights of their show. And uh, nobody could ever take that back from them. Shout out to the, you know, the guys in San Francisco. What's my man name? San Quinn from San Francisco. Shout out to the Bay Area. OJ was from the Bay. And uh, he's from the projects, actually. San Quentin is in my, he follows me on Instagram. He named the projects that OJ is from. San Francisco guy. Do -do -do -do. He said, at least he got to see the return of the Bronco. He probably seen the solar eclipse too. So, I don't know why people should feel, you know, I don't know why people in, in a celebratory mood and shit. I see maybe Ron Goldman's father, somebody's father, the chick's father or something saying, yeah, he won't be missed, man. Don't nobody even know you, fam. Don't nobody give a fuck what you talk. <laughs> nobody give a fuck what you talk about, man. If it wasn't for OJ, you wouldn't have been, no cameras would have been pointed at you today, my nigga. Like, don't nobody give a fuck how you feel and shit. Straight up. But if you get if you pick twelve and shit and you you're found not guilty, that's the end of it. If it if it was any smoke to it, if it was anything to it, they would have refiled the charges and shit. You know what I mean? Well, shit, he went to trial, they can't refile him after you went to trial. On my last day of grad night weekend, my class was struck for hours at Magic Mountain. Luckily, we had an ounce of weed. Do -do -do -do. Rest in peace, OJ Simpson and free OJ the Juice Man. Stephen A is controlled by the women he works with. Stephen A, he often... I don't like people to try to go with popular opinion. He might be in a situation where he feel he has to carry it a certain way. Um, similarly to uh, Don Staley, the great coach from South Carolina, they asked her a question about uh, how she feel about transgen transgender athletes participating in women's basketball. And she was very uncomfortable with the questioning, first of all, but she kind of like, she kind of like got out of the way of the bullet, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and decided with, you know, I don't know, I guess it would be popular opinion. She just didn't want no smoke. Mickey Mouse cracks that whip on Stephen A. I hope he know that we don't appreciate his stance and the shit that he said on um, that he said about O.J. Simpson, one of the great athletes 
You know what I'm saying? Nez Prez said, I didn't like her answer. I didn't like it either. I thought that she was going to represent, and she, she had her chance. She had her chance right then and there, and her opinion would have been respected. You know what I'm saying? I think she would have got great support. She had her chance, and she didn't represent in that hour. She she didn't want no parts of that shit. But something she got to live with. Let's see what happens when, you know, maybe one of them trans athletes drop 40 points on her and see if she still feel, if she still hold those same sentiments. Y'all like the video as y'all come in. I hope y'all enjoyed my interview with Fat Man Scoop. The, um, last night, it was about DJ Mr. C. And good thing that me and Scoop got that DJ Mr. C shit off early in the morning because... I told him during a live stream, I said, man, this OJ shit is here now. It's going to drown out. It's going to drown out, Mr. C. And it did, too. It did. Quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Markeith, what up? Clarence Beeks, long time no see. He said her knees buckled. You could tell she was very uncomfortable. She knew she was in the hot seat. He was like her seat was on fire. She, she just... She know better. He said she want to keep that check. If she continue to win, she probably going to keep it. I, she strikes me as the type of coach, um, wherever she go, the greatness is going to follow her, especially considering they, they got the, the transfer portal, portal now. That transfer portal, that's some bullshit. Motherfuckers used to have to fight their way off the bench. Now, motherfucker ain't getting no tick. He'll just go to another school and shit, like, it's crazy. Everything has been corrupted by um, by money and greed and shit like that. It ain't really about the competitive shit. It ain't. Pee Wee, thank you. You killed the fat man Scoop interview. Me and Scoop got that dope chemistry, man. That's my guy. Shit, he been been a great supporter of Gully TV for some years now. Um, and I like that. You know, we didn't just discuss the DJ Mr. C thing. We kind of went off into talking about some R and B and shit like that and Bad Boy Records. So it was dope. One thing for sure, the media can make and break a person in 48 hours. It can be, it can be overwhelming. Um, it can, if you're not strong, it can be overwhelming. But if you stand in truth, can't nothing shake you if you stand in truth. It don't matter how many motherfuckers is against you. Truth is truth. The portal got players going to three schools in four years. The portal is acting like the G League for the big schools. Like, as soon as they see you, somebody pop off at one of the, I think they call them mid-major schools. As soon as somebody pop off and become a star, the next season, they going up. They going up to one of the big universities and just leave their school behind and shit. It's crazy. They don't be trying to build nothing. Do -do -do. Gully, in our day playing football and basketball, it's about money for the coaches and administration. It's been unfair for years. I don't understand exactly what you're saying. I know that we had to play our way off the bench. Like, in football, if you wasn't getting no run, you probably wanted to put your thing down and practice. Let's say hurt somebody. <laughs> that was your way off the bench and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And practice and shit. They would have the offensive first team out there. And then the defense was made up of everybody else. And you you out there giving the first team reps. And uh your way off that bench was to tear somebody fucking head off and <laughs> shit. Tear somebody head off in practice. It ain't like that no more, man. They get up and just transfer. It's crazy. It's like the athlete is spoiled. For real. Boom, 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 boom. Make sure y'all go to the website, therealdribble.com. UConn coach told Juju from USC to leave college and go play three years overseas. Already? College is a dope experience, man. You can't get it back once you didn't gave up your eligibility and shit like that. For people to try to accelerate that whole process, you robbing yourself of a great experience. I went to college. College was fun as a motherfucker, yo. It was like a never-ending party and shit. 
He said, did I miss the Chicago footage? No, nah, I ain't uploaded yet. That's the Taylor boys. That's Benny Frank, 704. 704 and um, Parquet. They highly decorated MCs from Chicago. They didn't, didn't get they just do because of the stigma attached to Chicago. I believe a lot of mainstream media wasn't trying to go down there fucking with them and shit like that. They from the Robert Taylor projects, like they from a notorious set. So they grown now, man, they doing it right. I try to make sure I assist in getting Benny Frank's story out. Benny Frank's is the shit, for real. Taylor boys, is they, they, they that deal. He said, Bronny, Bronny's going to the NBA. They keep saying it. And he averaged four points a game in college. What the fuck kind of shit is that? <sighs> At Cal, Jalen Garner was getting paid, and he and his dad told on Todd Bozeman because he was not starting anymore. That um, that compensation, that shit don't do nothing for you if you ain't getting no tick. Motherfucker want to be on the court, man. Fuck that money, man. Motherfucker wants some minutes. You'll get some money if you get minutes. If you get minutes, you can perform, and you'll get you some money, man. But being paid and not getting no tick, that's just that's that's an uncomfortable position. It is. Bronny James will enter. Bronny James will enter the league as an NBA caliber caliber defender. That nigga ain't no good, man. That nigga ain't going to the NBA to stop nobody from scoring, man. Defense defense leads, translates to offense and shit. He was averaging four points a game and shit. If he was a lockdown defender, man, he would have had that ball in his possession a lot more. <laughs> He would have had a ball in his possession a lot more, man. He would have been getting some transition layups and shit like that. Don't you see um, Gary Payton Jr.? He play a little D. He gets his buckets and shit like that, you know, after, ener after energy generated from playing D, man. Four points ain't no good, man. Like, he's probably a Division II talent or something like that, if that, man, but... You 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 averaging four points in D one and you get minutes, man. Like you not no good, yo. Like it's actually insulting to people to like like and appreciate basketball. Don't nobody want to see that nigga, man. Even though it, LeBron's son or not, he ain't no good. Don't nobody want to see that shit. He said he's just living off his pop's name. I know Michael Jordan's sons. I know they feel insulted. I know they looking at Mike like, man, you see this shit. <laughs> You see this shit? We was scraping this shit trying to get some motherfucker. We trying to get to the league, man. Motherfuckers weren't taking us serious. And these niggas cakewalking. One of Michael Jordan's sons was actually pretty good. And shit, he was better than Bronny. He played for Illinois, right? He said MJ didn't even draft his sons. He knew he wasn't no good. One of them was okay, but he knew they wasn't NBA caliber talent. Michael Jordan probably would he wouldn't want that shit on his resume that he brought his sons up and they wasn't they wasn't killing and shit. He said MJ sons are better than Bronny. I know one of them played for Illinois. He he was getting buckets and shit. Boom boom. Oh, Fat Man got a lot of he got a lot of PA nits. He he he's a great supporter. He's actually on he actually on the website. That was the one that Marcus played for Illinois, right? He said, LeBron James disrespectfully ignored Darvin Ham during timeout on Lakers-Warriors game. Doom, 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 doom. Gilbert's son will give Bronny 50. He ain't going to be in the league long. Mac McClung, um, he's not even in the NBA. He's, he's stuck in the G League, and he's tearing the G League up. He's a, um, the MVP this year in the G League. He averaged like... He only 6'1 or some shit, 6'2 tops. He averaged like 25 points a game in the G League. That don't say a lot about the G League players, man. If Mac McClung got the MVP. <laughs> God damn. Tanner, what up? Pillmatic 1 and 2. two he, she said coming soon. 2 is at the mixer. As we speak, it'll be uploaded, man, like a week or so. By the end of the month, y'all have it. I'm looking forward to it. 
Dre said it's better than part one. I heard a lot of jams on it. I fuck with it. It's another um, another diamond in the crown of the Gully TV dynasty. So he said the oldest played for Illinois. Marcus played for University of Central Florida. Well, the one from Illinois, he was doing pretty good, too. He was doing his thing. I don't know how much points he averaged. I know he's better than Bronny. Rest in peace to OJ. Man, they going to revisit that case. We're going to hear about OJ for the rest of the week. The documentaries will come up in the search engine, wherever they at. Netflix, Paramount, Prime, you're going to see them. I watched a good one, though. The, the good documentary about OJ is the one where they try to find what happened to that bag. The disappearing Louis bag. That's the one that I seen. That one, that was that was a good one. Damn good one. King of Katu, watch your mouth. Ain't gonna be no OJ disrespecting here at all. Should the Mark fame and racist audio tapes and the gloves not fitting more than enough for reasonable doubt? Johnny, um, rest in peace to Johnny Cochran. Johnny Cochran was on a tear, man. I think OJ had like four or five lawyers, superstars and shit. He brought his bankroll. That's how Puff gonna go to court when it's time. If he gets charged and he has a trial, if he goes to trial, I don't know if he's gonna go to trial. Puff gonna, Puff gonna come strapped like that. He is. Whoever the top gun attorneys is, they'll be there. There's a documentary out about a serial killer who worked as a groundskeeper for the Simpsons. His brother said he did it. There was a uh, there's a documentary, man, where they show the camera, like the news cameras and shit was out there when they came in. I guess he was maybe he was about to turn himself in or something like that. And you could clearly see he passed his Louis bag to Rob Shapiro. I mean, Rob Kardashian. And he, he passed his bag to him. And you see it right on the screen. He walk away with this bag. And they, they ended up asking, man, where that fucking bag at? What you do with that bag? <laughs> he was like, it was everybody was, I don't know. I don't know. They never could find that motherfucker and shit. Or if they found it, they were saying it wasn't the same bag or something like that. But I think that was the only thing that they had that they was insinuating that he got away with. That bag, the disappearing bag. That's what it's called, the bag. He said, OJ was my guy, old joke, jokes aside. Don't be joking right now. We not in here joking. We not, we not with that. I don't know why y'all come in in these chats and get silly and shit like that. Ain't you an adult? You got to be an adult. It's, it's 11 at night. It's about to be 11 at night and shit. Kids got school tomorrow. You got to be grown. You ain't here cracking jokes and shit. He said OJ died on the same day thousands of Ford Broncos were recalled. It's a lot of shit going on today. Philly is on fire. DC is on fire. Philly is... Philly, man. Philly, Philly, Philly. The news, man. Watching the news on... That's like watching the movie Heat. Watching the Philadelphia news. It's like watching the movie Heat with Val Kilmer and all them niggas and shit. That shit, that's, that shit's bucktown like a motherfucker. He said, Philly is terrible. Yeah, they uh they shot up the id and they arrested motherfuckers. And a lot of people that had something to do with it, they was kids, 15, 16. They just arrested a guy. His name was Kabir. I think he was 21. The police speeding to the, to the scene to try to offer help. Hit a girl, broke her leg. They, they shot a 15-year-old. He got a, a M16 and shit, man. What the fuck is you doing with that in the park? Why even come to the fucking id if you got that going on in your life and shit? Why even come? He said, Philly going crazy. That right there, 
it makes me question your belief in Allah. <laughs> if you came to the end with your hammer, that means you not trust the Allah's protection. You don't believe in the, you, you just fast for 30 days and shit. You're supposed to be tremendously blessed if you completed the fast and shit. Bringing all them goddamn firearms, that tells me that you don't believe in the protection from Allah. <laughs> don't, it don't. That tells me a lot about your faith. He said they arrested five men and one woman. Man, them was kids, yo. I just watched the, the news uh, segment right before I got on here. 16-year-old, 16-year-old. Another one was 15. The one that they shot was 15. Then they got a 21-year-old. He said, OJ was a portrait of when you are no longer enabled by name or status. They did it to Bill. I don't know what's going on with Bill right now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's still really wealthy, keeping a low profile. Yeah. He says, so Young Thug, do Young Thug have a chance of winning this case because some of the witnesses saying they high on the stand? I don't know. How do you feel not smoking trees? I feel sober, focused. Getting a lot more work done, that's for sure. He said, no knock, but the drill culture wrapped up the chaos. They tripping, man. They shouldn't have did that at that end. And you know what's, you know what's, let me tell you what's sick about it, right? The niggas that shot up the id, the niggas that shot up the id, when they go to jail, you know what they're going to do? They're going to put on a koofy. They're going to put on a koofy. They is. When in all reality, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be allowed to, they shouldn't be allowed, as many as Muslims as in, as in Philadelphia and in the state prisons, after doing something like that, they shouldn't be able to move around in population and shit like that. It was women and children out there. But, you know, niggas gonna get where they go on and put the kufi on and shit. They ain't the first ones that do no shit like that. They've been killing at Juma, outside of Juma, after Juma. They've been doing that. They've been doing that for, for, forever. So, boom, 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 boom. I had to put down the books I was reading because I was studying a script for this movie, this upcoming movie. I don't know if I'm a, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be in this next film. I don't. Some things about the script I don't I don't agree with. Rest in peace, OJ. The kids buck wild now. My son, 15, trying my best to keep him out the way. We and B more pray for the youth. The serial killer's name is Glenn Rogers. The documentary was on Investigation Discovery. Might check that out when I get up off of here. Good evening to everybody. It's almost 300 people here. Y'all like the video. Make sure y'all go and check out my interview with Fat Man Scoop about Mr. C. He passed away yesterday. And the O.J. Simpson, um, the news of O.J. Simpson passing, it came across the Internet during me and Fat Man Scoop's live stream. And it's totally trending. It just took over everything. But what we're not going to tolerate is Anybody that's celebrating his death, that's that's kind of disturbing that people would be happy that somebody died. Should have said all the shit that y'all said now when he was alive. You could have tweeted it. You could have posted it to your page and shit like that. You could have. He didn't care. He lived 76 years. He didn't care. I'm pretty sure, um, I mean, prostate cancer and shit like that that's something that affects black men but i know the time that he was in jail and stress and shit like that that didn't help his case i don't know what his diet was like but there's no fresh fruits and vegetables in jail and shit like you might get an apple or an orange or some shit like that but that's it a banana that's luxury in, in prison bananas that's luxury you ain't get nothing beyond that ain't no grapes popping no strawberries popping. You might get watermelon and shit on the 4th of July, some shit like that, but ain't no melons popping. Everything coming out of a can. Everything got preservatives on it. Everything GMO. It's bad. Motherfuckers be in jail for, you know, years and years eating them soups. Them soups is full of sodium, salt, 
and them salt packets, that that's that's the kill switch. If you're dumping them, them seasoned packets in your soup and you're eating that shit on the regular, it ain't good. It's not your high blood pressure. It's going to be, it's going to happen eventually. Word. He said a pair sometimes. I don't know if I got a pair in the joint. Might have got some canned pears. I can't remember getting a pair in the joint. We might have. I don't remember it. I don't. He said sodium overload. Nancy Grace YouTube channel is doing three hour videos on Diddy. It's industry. It's industry. This um this OJ Simpson shit. They about to get busy with that. Industry. Yeah. And he said they'll give you a pair. I worked in the kitchen. LA County Jail. Okay, that's that's out there where the sun is shining. I don't think they're giving up no pairs on the East Coast. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember having no pairs, man. Not unless they came out of a can. For real. Can people ship prisoner CMOS in jail? I'm pretty sure them niggas got CMOS. They got everything else. They got fucking knives. They got cell phones. They got bank rolls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can get CMOS in the penitentiary if they want it. They got pounds of weed. All of that. Should be able to get you some moss. <laughs> Should be able to get some moss to that motherfucker. I'm pretty sure the niggas just eating healthy and shit like that. They probably got black seed oil and all that kind of shit. Bitters and everything else is in the motherfuckers. Doom, 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 doom. He said it was good seeing OJ on there. Only thing you can't get in prison is freedom. I hate that um, the, 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 the cell phones have linked people in jail to social media or the public to the point that it's, they be doing too much, man. They be shooting music videos. They be in their account of money. They kind of make it like jail is a good place to be and shit. And like they in there chilling. Them niggas ain't chilling. Them niggas ain't chilling. Them niggas that be putting out them videos, them niggas heart broke like a motherfucker. Them niggas in the visiting room with 300 pound women, ugly bitches, all of that. They don't show that part of it. That's how they get them cell phones and shit from a bitch 350 pounds and shit like that. That's where all that shit come from. Cause you know, Attractive women, they don't do too much prison time and shit, especially not in this day and age when everybody's DM and inbox is popping 24-7. A nigga in jail don't stand a chance. Boom, boom, boom. Only dummies think jail is valid. It's not, it's not the place to be. And them niggas that be making them videos, they not happy at all. They suffering for real. Straight up. You think he really did it? According to Johnny Cochran in the courts, them 12 jurors said he didn't. I got to agree with the jury. For one time, I got to support the American judicial system on behalf of O.J. Simpson. I'm pretty sure he's a believer in the system, or he left here a believer in the system. They ended up getting at him, you know, in their own way after that, but it was never proven to me. I know that once I seen that documentary with that bag, y'all going to find this documentary I'm talking about. He, like, passed off a bag to Rob Kardashian, who walked off with the bag. And it was some mystery about this bag. When all else fails, when all the smoke clears, they said that's the, that's the evidence right there in that bag. That's the only thing that they had to say. Boom, boom, boom. He said, I seen a video of dude warming up his food on the toilet. He said, facto, shout out to Tro Troy Ave. Troy Ave is holding himself down, man. Troy Ave left... Uh, over a year worth of content, music videos, and all types of shit that he recorded before he went to jail. 
Troy don't be fucking around, man. <laughs> Troy don't be fucking around. Niggas be hating on him, man. Niggas be hating on him ex instead of working and putting out projects and putting out videos and shit. He show you that he's an independent entity. He got money. He'll spend it. And he he, he got his dribble right. For real. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, his media team, I get a Troy Ave video a week. <laughs> Troy said, man, he not getting off. He, he said he ain't getting off. Straight up. Boom, 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 boom. Nobody know how much time he got. I never heard the exact number. He said he was going to get like a year. So I don't think he's in state prison. That you need a, I believe you need a year or so to go upstate. Black people have a problem downing one another. I heard black analysts were talking bad about him. They was. Last time I checked, if you're innocent, you're innocent. So what's the problem? These people sign these guys checks. Black people don't own no media outlets, all like that. Besides Gully TV. There's, um, Black media owned outlets are in the minority and shit. They is. So niggas can't say what they want, man. Like, niggas be having to play the game. It's a shame. It's disgusting. Somebody will say something positive about him. It's always one or two that'll buck the system and say, you know, he wasn't convicted. I don't believe it. Da -da. And that's your prerogative. We'll see We'll see who, who supports him. This ain't over with. It, it just sparked off today and shit. He still got to go through a you know, funeral, burial, memorial, da 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 da, all that kind of shit. Kevin Gates said the only people to hate on me for my success was my own people. That's the only people that be in these chats talking crazy. The, the, the people that I have to block and shit like that, them is niggas and shit. Them is niggas. For real. Them is niggas. Niggas be the ones making fake pages and shit like that. Niggas started that shit. I don't think it was no fake page action on MySpace, man. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I don't remember trolls. I don't. I don't remember MySpace being like that. But this shit, this shit now, all types of sick motherfuckers. I think that the, the Obama phones, they put phones in 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 the hands of um People hard, hard down on their luck, you know what I'm saying? So they got a fucked up, you know, attitude, disposition, and, you know, they got their phone too, so you got to deal with it. Boom, 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 boom. It's crazy the fact Caucasian people still mad about that situation, but what happened to her happens to blacks every damn day. Yeah, they mad. He's, 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 yeah, they mad. They mad. Bullets to Barber. What up? Rest in peace to OJ. He said misplaced anger. A lot of these people uh, have de devilish men in they, um, in they spirit anyway. So you can't be surprised at what the devil do. And that goes for all devils. Devils don't have no color and shit. They come, come in all nationalities and shit like that. Daryl Javon, I appreciate your super chat. They hate us on this earth and they hate us when we transition. Rest in peace, Juice. I was the first to speak my piece on it as soon as I heard it. I said, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's the Juice. I know that my grandfather, my uncles and all of them, they all fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was a big deal when I was a kid. I just don't remember seeing him play or nothing like that, but his name was always mentioned, you know, just like... Jim Brown and all of them, Gail Sayers, the, the, the great running backs. You would hear about the juice. Nigga named the juice. He had to be like that. Doom, do, doom, doom, doom. Shout out to Cam and Mace for letting him in on the podcast. Yeah, that was brilliant. Did or does Jay-Z have a beef with OJ? I don't think so. Khalid Jackson, I appreciate your super chat. Rest in peace to the juice. 
Maybe when, you know, when y'all get up off of here, y'all can go look up some O.J. Simpson highlights and see for yourself what he was like. Yeah. He said, his highlight's crazy. They said that he was doing a lot of damage when it was only 14 game seasons in the NFL. It's 16 now, but back then it was 14. According to Judge Joe Brown, they had their throats split from ear to ear, tongue pulled out the throat with the pliers. He didn't do it. Was OJ the best USC college player of all time? That'd probably be Reggie Bush. Yeah, the Naked Gun movies. Boston George, what up? Duck Life, what up? He said Barry before Barry. It's 17 games now. It was 14 when OJ, I think he ran, he had 2,000 yards in a 14-game season or something like that. He was running wild. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications. Go check out them interviews I did with Boo um, from Boo and Godly. He got, um, it's more. I still got more to upload. We talked about basketball. We're going to get more off into the music shit. You're going to hear about his, his journey through music and all the way up to, to now and shit. Shout out to him. He got a show coming up with Rick Ross, I think, this weekend out there in Illinois. He said, golly, the human almanac. I do a lot of reading. When Stephen A. gets fired, he going to do the blackest man on earth. He going to be the blackest man on earth. He should just check himself. Um, I think that's a part of his brand. He'd like to be, you know, like wild outspoken and say ignorant shit aggressively. But he's not aggressive. Just some sucker shit. Some shit that he shouldn't be doing and shit. He didn't have to get on there and be the nigga to say the shit that he said. Tanya said, you got the best podcast. Thank you. Make sure you follow me on all streaming sites. Spreaker, Apple, Deezer, Amazon. All of them. I'm on all of them. Doom, 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 doom. Skin, son, suck a dick. You go tell him. You getting kicked up out of here. Y'all kill me with that respectfully shit. I don't know who started that shit. That When y'all say some goofy shit and then say respectfully at the end, that's some internet shit. That's like saying, that's some new school shit. Like saying drip and shit like that. You know all these new corny words that y'all be using and shit? I, respectfully at the end of saying some dickhead shit, that's that's a part of that whole, that whole genre. Yeah. Duck life, thank you. You should think before you say something in this motherfucking chat, man, because, like, for real, like, a lot of y'all, we've never met. There's it's some people in this chat that's been here for years. Follow them on Instagram. They follow me. I've seen their face and shit like that. We kind of loosely acquainted. But a lot of y'all just pop up in here talking crazy, man. I don't want to fucking hear it about nothing that I'm doing. Nobody that I'm associated with, none of my guests, none of that shit. I'm going to kick you the fuck out. You got something to say about them, you think it to yourself. You know what I mean? Or type it in the comments when I get off the fucking, off the air or something like that. That You probably better off trying it like that. Is there a buzz for the Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight at the Barclay Center? One of my pimp homies told me he going. Yeah. I lost a lot of weight during the Ramadan and shit. I was in the gym today. I'm getting it back. I'm still ripped. Everything's going wonderful. Condolences to OJ Simpson's family. I never seen his family, his black family, like. Do he got any sisters and brothers, the Simpsons? Where the nigga Simpsons at? <laughs> I ain't never seen them and shit. I don't know what type of family he got, but I just never seen his black, his black support system. Like, <laughs> I never seen it. I didn't. Doom, 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 doom. He said, OJ stay camera ready. He said, I heard, I hate the term drip. Yeah, that shit corny. All of his daughters are very pretty. 
The Sundown Talk was great. Thank you. Arnell Simpson, that's right. Was she an actor or something like that? I'm familiar with her. I remember that name. He said, I think he was the only child. Y'all think Kourtney Kardashian is, is his kid? According to this documentary that I seen, it was a it was a CO that was in jail with him. When he was serving time in Vegas, it was a CO that got close to him and said that he would talk to him about Courtney and he would, out of all of the Kardashians, she was the one that stayed in touch with him or something like that. So maybe, you never know, but people was insinuating. I don't rock with Ryan. He put out a tweet, I think, yesterday saying not all blacks are hateful, not all Mex Mexicans are illegal, and some other shit like how are black people hateful. He lost a fan. I don't like the term OG. I don't like that. You got to find something else to call me. You can call me G-O-D. I ain't, I ain't no OG. I don't like that. When niggas say that shit, you know, to me in real life, I don't really be feeling that. You know what I mean? Like, OGs don't be in shape and shit like that. They don't. Your OG ain't in shape. <laughs> OGs don't be in shape, man. They be washed up and shit like that, man. Like, it was a turn. It was a time when OG, it, that title, like, actually meant something. It just, it, it wasn't just attached to older niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it had some, almost a level of prestige to it, but now y'all just call any motherfucker older than you OG and shit. Some motherfuckers be calling niggas in their 30s OG and shit. I ain't with it. <laughs> I don't like that shit, yo. Straight up. People think Courtney is OJ's daughter. I thought it was Chloe. Is it Courtney? Because she way taller than Rob and Chris Kardashian. I got good men I come under. I was using that just a level of respect. Oh, I understand, but I don't like that. Don't call me OG. My name is Jamil Ali. You call me Born Supreme Allah. You call me the Dribble Big Brother Dribble Almighty. That's great. Big Brother Dribble Almighty. I like that better. I don't like OG and shit. OG niggas don't be carrying it right, man. No OGs came forward to speak on behalf of Larry Davis and Larima Davis and the Davis Davis family when um Blue Boy was saying that fucking um Larry Davis was squirming around like a roach when he was stabbing him. None of these niggas said anything. And y'all turn around, y'all will call some of these niggas OGs, but they not they not, they just old cowards and shit, you know what I'm saying? I learned a lot about all of these niggas when that shit happened, man. Like, I did, I did, and I'll never forget it. It's a separation. Uh, I, that was an eye-opening period of time. You get your blessings in different packages and shit. I'll never forget that shit, though. I'll never, ever forget that shit. That told me a lot about these niggas and shit. Any advice I could use to further my content and grow my platform? Find something um, original, something that ain't been seen or heard before and shit. That's what goes viral, something that, you know, some original fire and shit. It's out there. Find you a topic and rock that shit, yo. Um, the content that has legs, in my opinion, is the rev black revolutionary shit. Some black heroes and shit like the the deacons of defense and shit like that. Like, you gotta go and find something original. It don't just have to be that. It just gotta be something something innovative and new. He said, I heard Blue Boy lock back up. Nigga, bizarre, nigga deserve to be in the fucking penitentiary. He's a fucking old junkie and shit. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't fooling me and shit. I know what junkies look like. Motherfucker do 30 years and come home with that greasy looking ass skin and shit like that. You wasn't detoxing in the pen, fam. You was on something. For real. I tell stories about my life from hood stories and my prison time. Also vlogs on Baltimore. Keep up the good work. 
Are you all right? What you mean am I all right? I ain't on drugs. You should have been asking me was I all right when I was on this motherfucker coughing and shit. Nobody asked me was I all right then. <laughs> Nigga just asked me am I all right? Do I look... I'm great. Everything's fine, man. You know what I'm saying? It's my biggest flex. No drugs, no alcohol, man. You know what I mean? Representing God, Cypher, Divine, and the flesh. No vices. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't even gamble. On perfection. You're looking at perfection. You might you might have something wrong with you, my nigga. Straight up. Straight up. You think g Depp got a few bars? Yeah. Um, I can't remember where I ate at, man. I, I stayed at the Palmer Hotel and shit, man. That's high post and shit. I didn't have to leave up out of there. They had a nice cafe in the, in the lobby and shit. You know what I'm saying? They got great food in Chicago, though. They do. I I, I play the juice bars and shit like that, the holistic shit. I like the, I like the acai bowls and... You know what I mean? The poke bowls and all that fresh fruits and shit. You said the Palmer house. Yeah, I was in the Palmer, man. I had a suite in the Palmer and shit. That motherfucker popping. That's my spot in, in the shop from here on out. Real regal experience and shit. Dun, 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 dun. Pee Wee, thank you. Yeah, man, y'all go to y'all can get the book from my website, therealdribble.com, autograph copies and shit. Eric, what up? Appreciate y'all for coming through, man. I just wanted to get on here and check everybody's temperature and speak my piece on OJ Simpson. I'm 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 an OJ Simpson supporter and shit. He he left here not guilty. He beat that case. The judicial system says that you're innocent until proven guilty. And if you pick 12 and you found acquitted in a court of law, then that's it. So should nobody else be saying nothing and shit? You know what I'm saying? What's your opinion about therapy in a black community? Go to the gym. Go to the gym. It'll diffuse a lot of tension. Put your ear pods on, listen to some dope hip hop music, man, and get your dribble right. Eat right, you know what I'm saying? You get out of your body what you put into it. Straight like that. He was the most hated black man. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. They just were speaking they hate about him. They feel the same about all of us. They don't like none of us. Then don't ever get it fucking twisted and shit. Straight up. He said, tell Scheme to stop buying. Man, Scheme can't buy anything. I'm up out of here, man. Thoughts on J. Cole apology. Nobody wants to hear that shit, period. People trying to normalize that shit, talking about, yeah, let me say something about that before I get up out of here. It's a lot of people created a fucking conversation and a narrative saying, that J. Cole showed growth by apologizing. How the fuck do you apologize after saying what the fuck is on your mind? You wrote that shit and then you recorded it. The fuck you mean that you, how can y'all try to rationalize or justify or make any sense of that shit? This motherfucker said that shit. He put it on a song and put it out to the world. He got to deal with that. Everybody battled. Everybody battled in hip hop. B boys battled. DJs battled. MCs battled. The URL was built on battling. And all of a sudden, this motherfucker, y'all trying to make it like everybody, the, the whole URL should start apologizing. How about that? Y'all making no sense. Motherfuckers talking about, yeah, well, you know, the. That, it could have turned into a Tupac and Biggie situation. Man, that's two different fucking things and shit. Them niggas is backpackers, number one. That that Biggie and Pac thing, that's a whole... Pac was aggravated by the Quad Studio robbery. It was, it was layers to that shit. It was layers to that shit that will turn that 
into what it turned into. Them niggas ain't throwing no punches. Them niggas ain't did nothing to each other. That's fucking hip hop music, man. My fuckers been battling forever. How the fuck is is it showing growth now? Y'all trying to ruin the fucking whole landscape of hip hop and being competitive. Somebody got to be the fucking best. Jay Z and Nas did it. LL did it for decades. Nobody said nothing. People enjoyed it and appreciated it. And you know what it did? It inspired other niggas to rap and make sure they pen was right and to say that they was the best. Somebody got to be the fucking best. All this friendly dick ride and shit, man. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. That has no place. That shit has no place in hip hop. Somebody got to be the best. Do you think I will get up here and, and apologize to a motherfucker for some shit that I went through with one of these niggas? Do you think I will get up here and apologize? Why the, why the fuck would I get up here and apologize to somebody for something that I said in front of everybody? If, if I, Obviously, I meant it if I said it in front of every fucking body. I ain't going to turn around and start fucking apologizing for something that I said and I meant. Makes no fucking sense. He said, if I was wrong, if I was wrong, I still ain't gonna apologize to the person. I ain't gonna apologize in front of the whole fucking world. And in conflict, I ain't apologize for shit. If I told you to suck a dick last year, that go for everybody. Niggas in my chat, rappers, niggas I done fell out with, it's still eat a dick today. It ain't gonna never change. If you, if you violated me, it's fucking up. Don't offer me your hand in peace, nothing. You know what I'm saying? You want to be, you want to, you want, you want to uh, um, feel better about yourself in regards to to a conflict that we got. Go to my website and buy something. I ain't gonna forgive you. Forgive your motherfucking self. Anyway, I'm up out of here, man. Y'all follow me on Instagram at the Real Gully TV. He said you can go, man. That's fucking conflict. Anybody that I told to suck a dick on YouTube, anybody that I had conflict with on YouTube. They can eat a dick tonight, straight like that. And whatever come with it, I don't give a fuck. And that's why I be telling them, eat a dick. Because you know what's supposed to happen after that. You know what's supposed to happen after that. That lets you know, it, as far as I'm concerned, it ain't no conflict resolution. I just told you the ultimate. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel about it. I don't share the stage with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I feel that I'm the best. I feel my platform the best. I've been saying this shit from day one. It ain't no, I, fuck that. Fuck that. Straight up. So y'all have a wonderful evening. Follow me on Instagram on at IamGullyTV underscore. Peace.